Three quarters of the world's poorest people are hungry farmers, unable to grow enough food to feed their families for the entire year. One Acre Fund changes that. We work in highly remote areas, providing a comprehensive, proven service bundle that doubles farm income and eradicates hunger. We're a nonprofit that runs like a business. Farmers cover 75% of our field costs, 98% of our staff, including our CEO, live in rural areas, and we currently operate in East Africa, in Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, and Tanzania. I'd like you to meet Gertrude and her seven children. Gertrude was one of our first customers in Western Kenya. She lives in a mud hut. She lacks access to water and electricity. And an astonishing percentage of the world's poorest people live in conditions exactly like this. With roughly an acre of land and nothing more than a simple hand hoe, she faces an extraordinary challenge of growing enough food to feed her entire family throughout the year. It's not working. Her family, like 50 million other families around the world, face an agonizing hunger season lasting up to six months when they will eat 40% less than normal. And the consequences are severe. One in 10 does not reach the age of five. Those that do survive, 40% face stunting mental or physical as a result of a lifetime of insufficient food. This is clearly a system in need of change. It's also an extraordinary opportunity. Three quarters of the world's poorest people are farmers, and yet they are failing because they often use tools and techniques that date back to the Bronze Age. Simple tools and training can double farm income within six months. One Acre Fund's service bundle is designed to meet all of the needs of the smallholders. We provide access to credit, to good inputs like seed and fertilizer, to training, and to storage and market facilitation. Our second innovation is to distribute all of those products and services to the last mile. We have found that unless we bring everything we do to within walking distance of the customers we exist to serve, those services will remain out of reach for the rural poor. As an organization, we also believe it's incredibly important to provide all of these services as a bundle. Seed and fertilizer in and of themselves can be harmful to farm income if used improperly. It's pointless to grow a surplus if there are no harvest markets. So what's really important is the whole bundle being provided together. As an organization, we measure success three ways. Scale, impact, and sustainability. Scale, reach as many farmers as you can. Impact, make a real measurable difference in the life of every farmer you serve, and cost-effectiveness. We're growing quickly. In 2006, we served 40 farm families. Today, we will reach 300,000 farm families, with one and a half million children living in those families. And by the end of the decade, we will directly serve more than one million farm families, with five million children living in those families. For every single customer, doubling net profit means an end to extreme poverty, an end to the hunger season, and an unleashing of human potential. Families return their children to school, invest in livestock, diversify and eat different foods, and improve their homes. We're just getting started, even though we're off to a good start. But we're thinking about system change, and to change that system, to make credit, Inputs, training, and market access available to all takes a movement, and that's what we hope in part to stimulate. Even if our greatest growth aspirations are realized and we reach one million farm families by the end of the decade, that is still just scratching the surface of the global need. Some 50 million farm families, according to the World Bank and FAO, could benefit from these same products and services. So our call to action to the global community, to the public and private sector alike, is to join us in driving a distribution revolution to get life-saving agricultural technologies into the hands of those who need them most. 
I believe this is the greatest humanitarian opportunity of our time. Thank you.